let's get a start a demo first of a blazor authentication with using scaffolding and here see i just create a one blazor application which is you know authentication uh, required right so once i logged in let me logged in first with this uh, whatever user i just created and uh, my logged in user is this right so once i logged in now i'm able to see see I just able to see uh, this new tab right so this is uh, now authenticated once you authenticated also that user allowed to see this you know this tab right and it is actually just we have to implement uh, cheap hotel management system so here you can manage your hotel like where's the hotel hotel address and you know their late and long uh, status right so once i also we can just create it a new hotel let me see how can we create it easily so for example a new hotel right so whatever hotel you can just add it over here hotel and address from actually usa and it is a let let is for actually is a let and long latitude for example this and just create it so once you create it you are able to see it is got populated with your database right so it is coming from the database also it is inserting from the db right so this is a complete session we will implement uh, in here bit quickly within the five minute right so before we start on uh, this authentication uh, in a session in our blazor application i'm especially recommend go to my channel which is dot net real world example and here you can go to my that blazor authentication series in our blazor web assembly right web assembly along with web api so you can just check out my the this session as well so that you can get idea okay how we can use you know authentication and authorization in our blazor application in blazor basm or web assembly application right also we have just implement api authenticate with using that you know identity server so that would be help for you and also apart from this also you can you can check out my you know channel so you will get that many many things like ai also clean architecture web api and grpc so many many things like azure everything is over here as a full stack developer so you can go through over there so now let's get a start uh, implementation so first what i need to do simply open a uh, visual studio now here my visual studio open right here what i need to do simply i will show you from that scratch so i will create a new project and i'll choose this blazor web app right this is a new template which is provide dot net 8 which is a blazor web app so use this guy next and then choose whatever name so i will use over here blazor app you know authentication authentication identity right and that's it and then here i just choose that location and next after next i will just choose that whatever default framework i just use dot net 8 and also i'll just choose a uh, configuration https and interactive server mode i will use server because i will implement in the server so create that now project got created right so let me quickly run and see how we have a uh, our default template it is providing now this is application is running right and here we have in a home page counter page and weather page right and counter also is a you know click event and then weather forecast is returning test okay so that's fine now now start to implement our authentication how quickly we can implement right using the scaffolding so before that actually i especially recommend let first let check what is your you know visual studio do you have right as of now i have a visual studio that you know 17 preview uh, 17 10 so that is working for me fine but yeah if it is this template is not available for you so please update for this this guy okay so what you need to do right click on the project and choose that uh, options add options here this add options and you will see this is a new options over here new scaffolding item right so choose this guy so go to again add and scaffolding so once you go to that scaffolding you are able you are able to see these are options right so these are options over here you have to choose this identity so once you choose identity this is a new template actually provide right blazor identity right so choose this blazor identity and add it right so once you add you are able to see 
this blazor identity pop-up message right and here they asking okay what is your you know context name right so if it already exists so they will appear but if it is not then you can just add it so what i will do i'll just add it over here and make it whatever name you want so you can just choose it as a name so what i will do i'll just change it over here as a yeah, let me keep it same no i will not change anything yeah let me keep it same and also there is a two provider they are giving like sql server or sql light so i will use the sql server and here that class right so there actually provide that you know if you want to custom class so you can use this so i will use as a custom you know user class so that i can you know modify or customize on our applications uh, our identities user right so that's why i just add it but you can you can just keep it optional as well and add it it will take some time to you know create all that things now it's got created right all that necessary package and all let me show you what are the things actually they added see they added you know this identity framework identity ui sql server sql server tools right and this is that main package actually it's code generation design so they also will be added this code generation package and if you go to that components you will see this new section over there like account section right so if you expand this guy so you will see many many actually that default code generation will be create that identity uh, users or identity server right like share folder and also identity components no option email render management and all and even you if you want to see so this pages so see there is a many many actually pages or component actually they actually created right the login page logout page invalid and all that identity is supported so everything actually they prepared right also in if you see the manage one so also they have manage all that things like okay email delete you know disable you know personal data reset authentication set password everything actually j has created automatically right so this is done and also what is that actually component and dependency has been created they also try to resolve automatically in this program.cs file as well see all that uh, you know corresponding extension they actually try to resolve dependency also add using the add identity identity cookies so if they using actually cookies authentication so they that's why they adding this extension method right so everything actually they are created okay so once you create it let me build it and now what you need to do actually see uh, if you see the data folder it's just created you know db context and this user file right so in this db context uh, object uh, once they create in a db context object you have to actually migrate that you know db con actually uh, you have to migrate right because it is db context the code first approach we are using so definitely you have to use that migration so for migration first before that migration you have to check you know in this app.config uh, json file it is proper connection string is over there or not right so they actually just default connection string provide over here so whatever your connection string you can just set it over here so for me uh, i will just change my connection string for example it is support locally so i will change it to this server would be as a dot and few more things actually for my perspective i have to change it but uh, that should not be your case right but uh, yeah this is my case only so what i need to do so this is two things actually for required for my perspective right so it is good for you as well if you not connected properly right in your sql server so let me save it and now we have to try to migration so there is a two way actually you can do that either you can use that command right add migration and update migration right or you if we have another that new feature over here using the connectivity server right? service so if you double click on that and you are able to see see whatever server actually uh, service provider you are trying to use it will appearing over here if you click on that three dot you are able to see these two options over here like add migration and update migration right so what i will do i will just start add migration first and once you add migrate it will just try to fetch your db context class now it's got populated right so this is my db context class over here and here also migration name whatever migration name you want you can change it so for example uh, uh 
authentication or add so yeah just add it whatever name you want so add i just added add identity scaffolding in a blazor let me finish it and now see it is completed and close and if you open that solution explorer you are able to see that migration folder has generated and corresponding you know uh, you know schema also is got created right so once you create it now we have to deploy it or we have to publish right so what i need to do update database i will use that update database again they will try to fetch that db context class now we are fetched right fetch this uh, context and then finish now once you, once is finished we are good to go right now close and run this application now application is running and see once your application is running you are able to see this two new section is appearing automatically right registered and login so if you're trying to log in so if uh, we don't have any don't have any user so definitely you, you are not able to log in but yeah uh, first let me try to register one user so let me add a new user for example this guy unregistered and for that development perspective i just click that you know confirmation and once you confirm go to that login and here let me logged in with this whatever user i just created so see i just logged in once i logged in you are able to see my profile name as well as here and that logout button right so once i click that profile uh, whatever our profile user so there is a many other options over here like for example profile if you want to update something your profile you can update it you want to update your email you can update it password you can just create a new password to factor authentication you can allow you know personal data and all also you can uh, allow to over here right so those are things actually you can do that over here with your profile and uh, now once it's done right so now what i will do i'll just simply create a chief hotel management system and that you know page should not be allowed without authentication user right so that i will show you so first what i need to do simply uh, let me log out over here right and close this application and quickly let me add that uh, you know that chief hotel management system over here right how we can easily edit using the scaffolding that also i will show you so what i need to do simply let me create a new model over here for example let me create a class and make it that it is a cheap hotel model right so cheap hotel and so once you create it right cheap hotel so simply i just added few properties over here whatever actually my requirement so based on this i just have to add like id name address and let and long right so let me quickly add so once i add now we are good to go to create our scaffolding uh that uh, all that insert update delete things right so how we can do that again simply right click on that project go to that add and go to that uh, now scaffolding uh yeah new scaffolding item and here you have to go to now this time you have to go to a razor component now if you see this is the reserve component which is saying okay reserve component using entity framework right so choose this guy and add it and now again it is asking okay what is our model so my model is chief hotel model right which i just created and also see this time they will populate it actually they will actually shows whatever are existing database right so i have existing database context over here so i'll just use it this guy and we have to do nothing over here just simply add and it will just you know restore all the package all the dependencies and adding in our program.cs file everything will do automatically now once it's done over here right so see once it's done you are able to see its component and if you go to that pages now this newly has been created the chief hotel pages all that you know operation like we have a, a list of that chief hotels and then then you know delete card or create a new hotel and add it as well right so all this step over there what i need to do simply i'll just run this application and show uh, i'll show you so now it's running right and if i just go to that you know page like for for example cheap hotel cheap hotels and once i execute now see it is complaining right because i just adding a new uh, migrate uh, new object right 
but it is not migrated right so that's why again if i trying to add you know see if you go to data folder so this is a db context right so just simply i just created a new model entity and add it in a db set but we have not migrated right so that's why it's complaining so what i need to do again that simple process i have to do that again go to this guy add migration just fetch the data uh, db context close uh, finish it so add migration done now update migration again go to that update migration they will try to fetch the db context now it's getting finish close run it now let me try to chief hotel again cheap hotels now see i'm getting this uh, no, component directly over here but this is a this is actually everybody can see right so what i will do i will just you know add that authentication attribute for that component so that no without logging in the user nobody can do that right so how we can do that simply you have to go in this section right see all that pages should be you know uh, authentication right then user can able to do your manipulation over there so instead of do one by one like for example there is an option right we can do actually set the attribute in a one by one component but there is another options we can do all that component will do together so what what need to do the for that just go to here right click on the add a new component a browser component and just create a new component for example underscore imports and dot razors so let me create that import dot razor and here let me set attribute and it is make it that authorize right right and this authorize actually uh, bring that namespace which is coming from that sp.net code authorization so we can just bring that namespace and once is bring the namespace this is done and one more thing i will do instead of you know uh, hitting that url and get that you know component i'll just you know uh, edit a new navigation menu over here so that i don't need to do uh, that right so what i will do uh, let me create on uh, this navigation over here and here yeah after that i just create a new navigation and then what is my uh, router name my router name is just cheap portals right and then also make it that cheap hotel and save it and run it now see once i click this chief hotel it is redirect to login page because these all that page is actually required to authentication right so what i will do simply try to log in once you logged in you are able to see this chief hotel management page right so now see once i logged in i am able to see all the pages and now what i will do i'll just simply add that hotels for example this guy and or lang and lot also at it created now i am able to see the data over here as well as let me create one more for example paradise hotel address whatever address for example us right and then let latitude is like this and longitude is that and just create it and also if i want to add it so easily i can add it for example this and this save it now see it is just updated also if you want to see details i can able to see details back to page and also if i want to delete so we are easily to we can delete it right so everything is working for using the scaffolding right without need to do anything and that is done for that you know identity authentication in blazor as well as you know that scaffolding in here right and one more thing actually so if you not logged in so you can redirect so that is fine but one more thing you can do that if you go back to here in the navigation page now see only authentication you know authorization or authentication user can allow those navigation right which is over here so similar actually you can do also whatever your chief hotels instead of visible without logged in you can go to that inside this put the inside this authorization view in the navigation page so so nobody can see you know your tabs over here right so that's actually you can do manipulate as per your requirement right so that's all for this session right thank you have a nice day and don't forget to like subscribe and share